Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. This Sunday, we celebrate the Solemnity of the Most Holy Trinity. Now, a lot of people think of the Holy Trinity as a mystery that we can't really understand, so they kind of give up. The truth is that we aren't meant to really understand the mystery of the Most Holy Trinity, but to love it. And the liturgy for this Sunday gives us the tools to be able to recognize the Most Holy Trinity in everything and everyone. The first reading talks about wisdom. It says that before the mountains were formed, I was there. Now, you can see the Most Holy Trinity in all creation, but most especially, we see that in the mystery of loving each other. This is what we can understand from the second reading, where St. Paul says to the Romans, the love of God has been poured out into our hearts through the Holy Spirit. And that's really where you come to understand the Most Holy Trinity, is sitting at the dinner table, loving the people around you, where you are loved and respected, and you respect and love others. That's where we have the deepest longing of our, of our hearts complete, in the mystery of love. And that's truly what love is. It's a communion of persons. We see that most especially in the family. And the family is really the image and likeness of God. And that is what the church is called to be. As St. Cyril said in his commentary, the Our Father, that the church may shine forth as a people made one in the unity of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. And so the way we can live out this liturgy is first of all, we're recognizing God in creation and you can also recognize him. Just take a moment, even be a mental moment, where you stop and pause and recognize God in the communion of persons around you, that family or that community that you have, where you experience what it is to be loved and to love in return. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit.